So one day you wake up and you decide you don't want to be a weekend warrior. You want to do a race. You want to do a real enduro race. You think, ah, I'm a pretty decent rider now. I've been riding a few years, some single track. You know, how hard can a race be? <laughs> Fuck! Ah! Yeah. It was a lot of fun, actually. Uh, I showed up to this Thai race. Probably 100, 150 people. They have this enduro race every Sunday down at the lake. I'll, I'll post the location up, put the name up, because I, I can't remember the Thai name. Don't show up with someone that doesn't know how to speak Thai because that's the only reason I got as far as I did there. I couldn't find anyone that spoke really good English, which obviously it's Thailand, so um, my own fault. Do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? But I don't speak Thai, so I had to have help to get signed up. I just showed up. I'd seen people mention the race in Thai. I didn't know anybody, any foreigners that went to it, so I decided, hey, I'm just gonna go to it. You know, screw it. Just do it. Learn things as I go. So I showed up at the race after some back and forth. I figured out how to get entered. Didn't know any of the rules, couldn't understand the rules, and kind of just figured it out as I went. I figured out that there was three checkpoints I had to go to as a 15 kilometer loop. I had no idea what the train was, how difficult it was, if I could even finish. So my goal was just to finish. That was all I wanted to do was finish. Um, because I didn't know if it was beyond my rider ability or not. I'm not like a fantastic rider. Holy Jesus. But I did figure out the loop, how to start, Figured out a lot of things now Now that I know it, I can help other people uh, who might want to race, but they start you in groups of two. There's no need to just haul ass and, and wheelie off the starting line and whip it around that first. Because the first part was easy. I didn't know it was going to come after that. I, I thought, it was, oh, this is all it is. It's just like this single track goes in a circle. Oh, I hopped a log. I was like, oh, okay. This is what the whole race is. You know, no problem. No. Obviously you can see we went through the lake and the portion of the lake we went through the first 10 or 15 people or so were lucky because the lake was underneath underneath the water obviously was flat well by the time 10 20 30 people I was at like the 50th middle of the pack number by the time my group was gone they had carved it so far into the water as you can see There was no way to know what, what line to take. All, all I could do was when I got to that spot, I knew it was a hole in the water. I just gunned it and just tried to just try to kind of skim across, but obviously that wasn't enough. There was a big ass rock in my way that if that wasn't there, I'd probably been alright, but I got the bike back up out of the water, it was fine. 
didn't get anything in the earbox or nothing went on went along my merry way but there's three checkpoints around this 15 kilometer loop uh, as you're riding they're not really evenly spaced i would say they're evenly spaced but they're not they were all kind of toward the first 75 percent of the race and you just stop you have a number plate on to get to the checkpoint of course they wave you and stop you and then they put a marker on your number plate you have three empty blanks and then they sign it or put a mark on or whatever they do and you haul ass to the next checkpoint I said i gassed super early oh man my foregrips are my forearms Please just give me some trails and not this fucking rock. Else, I run twice a week and get a mile and a half out of the way. Obviously, there's no substitute for just riding hard a couple times a week. That'll get that'll get you ready for a, a race pretty quick. But after that first five kilometers, I gassed myself, and I just kind of was like, "All right, well, so now I'm just going to try to finish at this point because it just you just start thinking about it. You know, you're excited, adrenaline's going. You're like, ah. And then all of a sudden you realize, well, shit, I ain't got no energy left, and it's only been five kilometers, and I got ten more left to go. I finished. I finished about in the middle of the pack. Not too many people passed me, and I, I didn't really pass anybody. Um, I think maybe five or six people passed me, and the people that I passed would pass me again, so I never really did pass anybody. But the terrain wasn't too difficult. Uh, it was. It was about right at the peak of my skill level some of the stuff there obviously there's a lot of steep inclines steep declines riverbed is what did me in the river the empty riverbed is what took all my energy oh fuck Especially when you're on a four-stroke that doesn't like to go slow. My Kalex is with that with the upgrades I've done. It doesn't like to crawl. Kalex didn't like it, but that took all my energy. Once that was out of the way, and I rested for about 10 minutes after that rocky riverbed, mix a single track. The hardest part that I had difficulty with is you'd be on some single track, and you'd have to go up a cliff, and it was a, it was a sharp left or a sharp right, and all of a sudden you just had to go basically straight up. So you couldn't get a run at it. So that was kind of beyond my skill level. I mean, I, I worked it out. Bruh. Holy Jesus. I would kind of do some, some uh, ee -er, ee -er, ee -er, until I was lined up with it. Do some awkward turning and stuff, and then I would just, I would just gun it, hope for the best. And, and that was, I think, if I would have failed a couple of those, that would have been bad because I would have got stuck in the middle of it. But luckily, it was dry. If it was raining, there's no way I would have, there's no way I would have done some of that stuff. But some of the stuff is pretty steep, rutted, rutted single track. But like I said, if it's dry, it's not an issue. Uh, steep declines that once you get to the bottom it's a hard left or a hard right with trees in front of you so on that stuff I just kind of took the sissy way out and I turned the bike off left it in first gear and let just walked it down the hill and I wasn't I wasn't gonna take any chance because it was steep oh my sweet Jesus in heaven do we're walking this baby down
I didn't see a single KTM, single Husky. You just don't you just don't see them over here that much. I mean, they're here, but out of a hundred people, I mean, everybody was on KLXs or CRF uh, 250Ls. You see, I'm not on the KLX obviously because it's in the shop. Did have a minor issue with the KLX. So that happened, I, I guess, in the middle of the race. I didn't notice because I was I was in the fucking zone, man. Me, I was in it, and I did not notice that small issue. The KLX did not seize or run out of oil. Surprisingly, uh, once I got to the end of the race and I looked down at my boot, I saw it was wet. Uh, I saw oil on it, and then that's obviously when I shut it down. But still running good when I shut it off. I'm guessing it's gonna be at the shop for a while. Broke a couple other things on it small things. This is the CRF 250L Rally. I love this bike, by the way. These are some of my favorite bikes to ride around Asia because uh, long distance, they're just, it's a CRF 250L with different plastics, different suspension. The fender, the, the headlight and guard here, windshield. But these bikes just feel so roomy. And every time I get off the KLX, KLX has a lot of power. It's buzzy, it vibrates. It's is what do they say that high power bikes tire you out and man that's the truth after after i ride this everything's just so smooth on it it's so quiet i mean this one's stock it's a rental from rider's corner cafe and he's got he's got the most modified one i found in Chiang Mai. there's other ones like at pop uh pops big bikes he's got a bunch of these but they're all bone stock at least rider's corner he's got some bark busters he's got some headlight guards he's got an engine crash guard i'll do a whole other video on this bike i love these bikes i'm gonna buy one for sure for long distance um but this is what i just like to put around on just just to explore like just like single track a lot of thailand is just like this uh just simple sandy single track this bike's perfect for that you can go up the mountains and if it's not wet uh this bike will take you almost anywhere my klx will go you know probably 75 percent of the places that my klx will go depending on your tires and your riding ability but uh, back to the race. The race was a lot of fun. I'm gonna definitely do it every Sunday uh, for practice. Like I said, uh, the things I learned. Make sure your fitness is up. If you know where the race is, run run the race. Run it when when it's not racing day or whatever. Just go over it for practice. That way you know what to expect and get the exercise. But if you if you're not gonna do that, at least go to the gym and run because even even running as much as i did i still gassed pretty quick but nowhere near as bad as i gassed a couple years ago when i did a ride and i wasn't doing anything for like six months just sitting on my ass and i did like two kilometers and i was gassed but make sure you keep your physical fitness in check uh the other thing if it's 15 kilometers 10 kilometers you don't need to rush off the unless you're just an amazing rider you're graham jarvis you know you're kick-ass Okay, cool wheelie off that starting line and you're weaving it out that's fine but for the average guy i think you should just pace yourself because i had so much adrenaline going and i was excited and i was whipping it on corners and yada yada and i just i just tired myself out water i'm taking a nap you want to take a nap i'm taking a nap here okay take a nap right there then a, i don't yeah bring water bring a decent amount of water uh it was 100 degrees in the shade it's so damn hot. Milk was a bad choice. Very humid in Thailand when you're in the jungle. So it uh, it sucks it out of you quick. But it was a lot of fun. So if you want to race uh, or decide you want to go from being a weekend warrior and try your first race, make sure your fitness is up. Uh, check out the track first and ride it first if you can. And... That's about it.